So my project today is to drill this opening bigger so we can get an egress window in for a basement bedroom. I tried with a circular saw, which I knew it wouldn't work. It did give me a nice smooth cut on this side, but as all know, it only goes two and a half inches if you have a seven and a quarter. I only have a seven inch, so it's not getting deep enough. So, as you can see, I already started drilling holes. Now, I'm going to use a bit that I made longer to go right through the wall. And once we're done drilling, we will take a sledgehammer from the inside and knock the blocks off, smooth it out with a cement chisel, which I'll show later. And it'll be prepared once the window gets here in hopefully two and a half, three weeks. So I will position the camera, so give me a moment. So to get pressure on the board, I've been using a 2x4, 2x6, whatever, because all I have is my half inch drill, I don't feel like buying a new, a new uh, hammer drill because I broke mine. So here we go. So we can get a little deeper. I think it's three, but it's not as quite as thick here. I'll try it without. Well, that is how <coughs> I plan on drilling plenty of holes along here. I've already done up here and here, which I will continue going through. These are all done. Once that's done, it'll weaken the cement enough, especially this older stuff. It's got no rebar in it, being an older home. And then, like I said, I'll go inside later, knock it out. Keeps most of the mess on outside instead of inside. So that's the plan. Uh, once I get it all drilled out, I'll come back and show you. And then we'll knock that out. So now I'm going downstairs to show a couple of holes that went through. Didn't put them all through. Uh, you see, they came through with that long bit. Worked quite well. It's a big job. Now this wall here on the right. I thought I was going to have to move this wall, but it ended up we didn't have to. I didn't get around to filming the rest of drilling the holes or knocking out the sludge hammer and using the chisel that I said I would show you, which I'll show you now. That's a chisel cement chisel that I got from my father it's tapered and then a kind of a cross and the cross member it looks like a, almost like a Phillips screwdriver when it's tapered up so when you pound it in it spreads it apart and breaks the cement up it works actually quite well I haven't seen another one so I'm not sure when my dad got it but he left it to me now that he's gone these pictures here show the outside as I started digging it out this is what I did before I started drilling and blasting so to speak uh, had to dig it out so you get down below to get the window that we ordered in for egress and here's another picture of it uh, dug out and I think it was just about deep enough here I think it went down maybe another three or four inches before I built a pressure treated two by six two layers high to get it 11 inches so I had enough space in there for crushed rock underneath and be able to get out fairly easily and here it is it was drilled 
cut and just about ready to take all the wood out from inside the window and uh, start knocking the cement out and get it to this point in the video where I'm back downstairs again and from this point on it'll be this part with the window you can see I got it all dug out fairly decent that's the height that we went down uh, we have to chisel up from that point down and then we put star foam well blue and foam around the windows uh, to insulate it off keep the wind from coming in especially here in Saskatchewan where it's cold in the winters so we got that all done up and a sill plate underneath from this point it's going to be the demolition and uh, renovations as you can see we had a lump in the floor it was all crumbled and heaved up so we sledgehammered it out my boys and I and we hauled it out with a pail outside and I used some of it in my driveway so once it was all cleaned up as you can see here that uh, we cleaned it up got it as best we could far from cleaning the whole basement floor out which was, would have been ideal but we cleaned it out and best tapered it out so we had a fairly decent flatter floor now not like it was in future picture you'll see some more problems I had just back to the left of me once we got it cleaned up I went and got some premix cement obviously enough not enough bags you see a little bit there on the right we didn't finish but I went downtown fairly quickly got I think five more bags to finish off what was left and uh, got it all slept you know trawled out and smooth here it's the basement I got a few studs in plate on the floor for the wall to separate these two rooms we're making a rumpus room and a bedroom downstairs fairly messy but there's lots of stuff down there for many many years of storage a lot got thrown out because it really didn't need anything you can see in the video the floor is finally done fairly messy from this point I'll be after the studying was up some drywall on the uh, rumpus room side got the wiring in for the switches for downstairs uh, two lights one for this area and one that did the whole basement so you can turn on the lights upstairs and turn them off downstairs now we're going to move into the inside of the bedroom and we're just drive over on the other side still see a little bit of mess but sit in time it all got cleaned up it's kind of messy didn't quite have all the drywall on yet but I had to work at the same time so this was done in my spare time weekends in the days that we had off here's a picture of the window now after it was in and drywall's on it's not quite finished around with uh, drywalling and taping but it looks way better than it did after we put it in a few more pictures of the windows coming up here over the window um, you can see it's a little bit more drywalling done window looks pretty good as you can see the drywall on the side there matched up with the wall so once it's painted it'll blend right in won't look quite as bad again it's trying to do it on a budget we could have drywall the whole basement but paneling was all right why get rid of it here's some of the basement now on the bedroom side cleaned up the uh, bulkhead is now now boarded up looks way better than it did before the walls are still a little bit eee -ee. the floor down just in front of me there is all heaved up I had to pound that all up, get it looking a lot better. Here's uh, the door installed, some taping done on the rumpus room side of the, the room. Still a little messy, but it all gets there. Took some time to get there. And funny corners to board and tape, but after some experience, it's not that difficult to do. Here's a picture on the bedroom side. It's all boarded now, it's all primed, ready for. Uh, two coats of paint which we end up doing in a grayish color which you'll see and when we're done um, looking way better than it did when we first started down there all clean this is uh, primed on this side now some of the light fixtures up plugs some of them or switches are in uh, starting to look a lot better a lot less mess down there we're just trying to find space in other buildings we have to get rid of it. Now this picture coming up you'll see what I meant that was in front of me in the one picture we had to dig up and uh, take out all the heaves and crumpled up 
cement that was there. Probably wasn't sulfate resistant cement they used, it would have been just regular Portland. And with some of the soil surface around here, we do have saline in it, so it causes cement to break up. Now here's a walk around video of now after all is done, all painted up, and I got the flooring in. And it's starting to look pretty good. Starting from basically a junky basement to two very nice rooms making a silk purse out of a sow's ear. So this is the outside after it was in. It's starting to get snow, crushed rock or rock in there so the water has some place to sit and disperse and it's tapered to go away from the building so it uh, looks a lot better now than it did. And this is a walk around video starting from the basement stairs walking into the new rompers room that we have for the boys baseboards are all done painted up all the walls are painted kind of an off-white gray i put a clear finish on the doors and frame i walk into the bedroom i had a sump pump in the corner there so we do have water problems so all the plugs carpet baseboards are all in all painted up everything ready for uh, the bedroom to be used and that's our putting our basement window in